What's up everyone, this is Jack Swift from Windows Phone Hacker and I'm going to show you a brief look and uh, walkthrough of the Window Break project. Um, just as a quick introduction, the Window Break project is a project uh, to bring sort of a free, uh, limitless jailbreak to Windows Phone devices. And uh, I'll give you some more information on that as I walk through this because there are certain parts of my video that are going to take uh, some extra time. but. Just to demonstrate, so you know I'm not cheating or anything, I'm going to go and reset my phone completely. Um, so real quick, you can see this is on Mango. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. So it's on 772.68, uh, 7720.68. So uh, it's Mango, not quite to the uh, 7740 version yet. I don't think they have that update for my phone yet. And I'm just going to go ahead and reset my phone. And I'll wait for that to complete. So just to talk a little bit about this, this is a project to bring uh, you know, jailbreaking to all Windows Phone devices. And currently the device list is a little bit limited because while the exploit works on every device, the actual tools to provision it work differently across different devices. And uh, a, lot, a lot of the developers and XDA developers will understand what I'm talking about here. And all the details about this and the project will be headed over on XDA developers. And I'll have a link in the description uh, about that. And basically, I'm doing a full disclosure on how this works and what it does and what it cannot do uh, to try to get some motivation on this project to see if we can get HTC, Nokia, etc. devices supported on this. Uh, since my main device is a Samsung device, I developed this for my Samsung device, and it works uh, It works actually really well right out of the box. So I'll go ahead and show you that. And uh, I'm currently working on Nokia and HTC, and I'm receiving a little bit of opposition uh, from their drivers on that. But uh, I'll see about that, and hopefully I can get some support when I post this over on XDA. So still waiting for this to boot up. Sorry I'm talking so much, but i got to do this continuously, so... You know, you can see what's going on. All right, so I'll just skip through this wizard real quick. Yes, yes, custom. Yes, Eastern. Not now. I'll wait for it to install. Dang, this takes a while. All that bloatware from AT&T just trying to fill up my device. There we go. All right. So this is the point if you were, uh, this is the point in the video that if you were doing this to your currently locked device, this is where you would jump in and just follow what I'm doing. I reset my device just so people would uh, know for sure that that's what I'm doing. So this is really the start of the video, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Internet Explorer. And no, I don't want you to know where I'm going. I'll go and stop it. And I'm going to head over to kind of a long URL. Uh, but it's on the Windows Phone Hacker website. Slash window break. All right, and I'll press enter. And here we have sort of the logo of it. It says the Window Break Project. And you can read more about it over here, and there's some little details there. Uh, but since I don't really want to do that, I'm just going to press Window Break Me. And here we go. And here it says tap above, then read me for help. I already know the instructions, so I'll just tap on Window Break. And then I'll head over to the dialer and open up the diagnostics menu. Wait for that to load. Here's the diagnostics app and I'll type in the menu uh, star pound 9908 pound and that'll open up the GPRS manager and as you can see down here um, see about getting a better view it says window break which has just been copied into that folder uh, for the provisioning. 
I'm gonna just click on window break and I'll press save and it'll say loading GPRS profile for window break and then over here it'll say provisioning succeeded and at this point your phone it has been jailbroken and uh, the only thing left to do since this messes up your 3G settings is just to reboot your phone go ahead and turn it back on and I'll hook it up to my computer uh, just so you can just so you can see the uh, that this is indeed unlocked and all that stuff Right there it is on the home screen. I'm going to move my camera up to my desktop monitor. And there's Zune and the application deployment tool from when I was working on this earlier. And I'll just have to wait for Zune to refresh a little bit. I detect that this is a different, uh, you know, it's been reset, so I'm going to have to go through my sync partnership again. There we go. Let's click next, whatnot. Alright, and it should be connected now, and here's the application deployment tool. I'm going to go ahead, and here I have uh, root tools uh, by Heathcliff uh, installed, uh, or downloaded onto my computer, and I'll just click deploy. I'll say deploying, and the zap deployment completed. So I'll go back over to my phone, and zoom this out a little bit. And I'll just head over to the start menu, and sure enough, there is root tools. And I can go over, and I've got full root access to the registry and uh, file system. So that's just a quick demonstration of window break. Uh, this, again, this is a project, not really a full jailbreak yet. Uh, we're working on it. You can read more details about it on our site or on XDA developers. And I'm hoping, I'm getting this out just before Christmas, uh, and hoping that by Christmas or by the week's coming Christmas, we will get some more uh, cool hacks with this exploit uh, working out. So full details on that on XDA. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want updates, you can follow us on Twitter. Otherwise, you know, just listen to the buzz around.